Hello and welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. We're glad you're here. If you haven't seen our video about the plant everyday challenge, then I'll put a card up here so you can see it. Today I'm gonna to plant something. I'm also gonna tell you about one of our trees that we have on the homestead. If you're interested in things like this, then keep watching. If you're not, then check out the videos below. Come and see what we're doing. If you haven't seen the video about the Plant Everyday Challenge, posted that yesterday. This is day two of the Plant Everyday Challenge, and it's been rainy and wet outside this morning. It's not going to plant outside. I'm gonna plant inside. I've got a little tray here, and I'm gonna plant my bell pepper mix. It's a grand bell mix, the colored bell. Rua brought these home. I assume that she brought them home because she wanted me to plant them. And I'm gonna plant them in here. I wanna set them on my heating mat, and then I wanna take you outside and show you something else that we've got going on. If you wanna participate in this Plant Everyday Challenge, then tag your videos or tag your posts, hashtag Plant Everyday. We would love for you to participate in it. And if you only do a little bit, then that's great. You miss a day, not a big deal. Still use the hashtag for us. But I got this ready this morning. All I did was put that uh, potting soil mix in, and I'm gonna put these in here, and then I'm gonna put them on my heating mat, and then I'll plant them outside whenever they get growing. Uh, you can also post on the Copperhead Road uh, Homestead Facebook group or Facebook page, hashtag plant every day. But today I'm planting the uh, bell pepper grand bell mix. And these came from the Dollar Tree actually. Up here by the property line, if you've seen our previous videos, I've done a couple others on homestead trees. I did one about the Arbor Vitae. This is one of our Arbor Vitae right here, our green giant Arbor Vitae. And I did one about planting red buds and there's some over here on the ground. Uh, next to it. But this tree behind me is a black locust. Can you see it right here? Here's a green giant arbor vitae and here is a black locust. If you go back and look at our video whenever I planted the red bud trees, I'll put a card to it right up here. The size of those red buds, they were only about uh, 24 inches tall uh, and that's how big these black locusts were. So I'm about five foot 11, almost six foot tall. They were sticks, just like these other ones when I planted them the very beginning of 2019. This is uh, early 2020. So all this growth came from last year, uh, but they're starting to leaf out. I really like black locusts for a number of reasons. If you are wild foraging and you find a black locust at the right time, and it's got all those white, beautiful flowers on there, uh, then those are edible. You can cook those, saute them. Uh, I think you can eat them raw in salads. Uh, they are amazing. As what I'm told. Haven't had them yet because I've not actually foraged for them before, but I've planted these up here. Maybe we'll get some flowers on them this year. These uh, are really wonderful uh, edible uh, plants for that reason. Uh, the pods that come on them aren't edible, but some individuals say they are. The flowers are edible, but also they're fast growing. I planted these Arbor Vitae over here because they were supposed to be fast growing and wanted to create a screen between us and our neighbors. We have good neighbors, it's, but this is farm and this other over here just north of us is residential. So we wanted to create that barrier between us. With the Arbor Vitae, you can use them for tea. I did a video on that. If I haven't already mentioned it, I'll put a card up here for that as well. One of the reasons that we grew them is because they're fast growing. Number two is because of their edibility. And number three, because they are very dense wood. They're wonderful logs. It's wonderful wood to use for both firewood and for building. Uh, they're wonderful for building pole barns out of. And these are quite uh, early on in the season, so they're just starting to leaf out. I'll bring you just a little bit closer in a second so you can see the leaves. They kind of got a distinctive leaf. Maybe I'll find an image that I put on here as well. Uh, they've got leaflets uh, around. Uh, let me show you. Now again, uh, these are early on in the season, so they're getting much larger than this. They have very large leaflets, and they've got dappled shade underneath them. But you see these uh, leaflets that are starting to form? Uh, every one of these is actually a leaf. Uh, and these little ones are leaflets. If you also notice, it's got little thorns on there. I was thinking about making a living fence out of it, uh, but I didn't do that. Instead, I'm gonna do it this way. So uh, every year, after, eventually, if I want to, I can cut every fourth one down or so, and you can coppice them, and they'll grow up again. So I can cut every fourth one down, uh, and I've got probably about uh, 50 of them up here on the, uh, uh, the property line. Uh, so after they grow a big, I can use them for firewood and I can use them for poles. They've got edibility. And one of the permaculture principles is to layer uses. So use things for as many things as you possibly can. So I can use this again, edibility, 
firewood and for building all three of those things so very and again for a screen for our uh, our property uh, so we've got these arbor vitae up here and they'll grow up and then in between we'll have the, the black locust that'll create a wonderful screen for us we also have jerusalem artichokes up here and i've planted several other things i've already mentioned the red bud to you uh, i've got the row of uh, arbor vitae i've got the black locust i've got the red bud these are all that i've told you about so far but i've got three other trees that i've planted up here as well uh, so it'll create a huge screen that will also produce the other three trees that i have up here also have uh, edibility to them every one of them is edible and i'll tell you about another time after they start leafing out a bit more one of the wonderful things about this is that and i'm doing it this for myself and for you as well is you can see the growth here's one that's sitting up here by the property line as well that's much smaller they all haven't grown and taken off like that one uh, but two or three of them have right here in front of this post can you see this little one It's only about four foot tall or so at its peak. So uh, we've got several of them. Uh, I would say, I don't know, about uh, uh, six or so of the 50 that I have up here uh, are uh, six foot or higher. Most of them are probably about four foot. I bought a hundred of them and I put some of them up here by the property. And then with the extras, I put them in a few other locations. This is one of the homestead trees. So this is gonna be in the homestead tree playlist. If you haven't checked that out, check the rest of it out because there's several more. We really like these and, um, and whenever they flower out, I'll definitely show you those things as well. If you like this sort of thing, hit thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a notification. And the very best thing you can do for us if you wanna help our channel out is to share amongst your friends and to watch our videos to completion. If you haven't already uh, participated in the Plant Every Day Challenge, hashtag Plant Every Day, uh, we would love for you to participate in that. Share it on our Facebook group or share it on a Facebook page. And put it on your own page and make sure to use that hashtag Plant Every Day, hashtag Plant Every Day. Until next time, Thanks.